guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a video on some airbrush glamour makeup and vintage inspired. I'm doing a red and pink eye look. I'm just doing some skincare and some prep. And I'll list all the products down below in case you're interested. Um, I love using modern tools to create vintage looks. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And please like, share, and subscribe if you are. I appreciate your support. So I'm going in today with Dynair and I'm using a Dynair gun. I'm using the Soft Glow Foundation. I'm covering up any acne, any breakouts. Um, and I'm using two different colors. I'm using the 135, which was really brown this batch. I'm not sure why, but I felt like I needed to add some 117 uh, Soft Glow. It just has a pink base to it and it just brightened everything up, even though I have more of a yellow skin tone. I like to play with the skin tones. If you've seen a lot of my other makeup videos, you know that I like to play with the pink and yellow to create a warm look. And it's just a fun way to um, mix your makeup. And if you're a makeup enthusiast, I'm sure you already know that, or maybe not. So like I said, I'll list the products down below. I'm going in with Vanity, which is a pink shimmer, which was really pretty, which kind of ties in with my whole pink theme this year and I'm just kind of having fun changing up my colors. Um, I'm going in and just using um, the highlight, just a little bit on the cheek, nose, and mouth. And I'm using Vanity and Vanity is the color I put on my lid and around the bottom of my eye. And I love to do colors around the eye. I hate the paint in the line trying to make it perfect. I love to give a more blurred look. So, and I'm now I'm using Crimson uh, Red. It's the bright red and um, just kind of blending it in with the pink to create a unique look. I'm going in with some jet black to create a liner and to just shade the corners of the eye to create a kind of a cat eye without having to kill myself doing some pinpoint needle looking um, cat eye, which I love doing my liquid liner. I'll do it on the inner corners, but I love the blurred out effect. And this takes me like maybe, oh, I would say three minutes to do this eye. Um, it's really quick and it works and I love the ombre look. And I hope you guys do too. If you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. I've been doing a lot of fast, quick videos just because I think people, attention spans are kind of bored and don't wanna walk through every single step. So I went in with a black liquid liner. I'm using the Wet n Wild. They have a new one out, which I love, and it's really affordable. It's like $5, which and it's comparable to the Kat Von D, but way more product inside the uh, actual liner. And I'm going in with a Kiss Slash Pompadour. I'm gonna go in and use a finishing powder, um, Javinci, which I love. It actually sold out at, at Sephora and it has a pink and yellow tone to it. And then I'm going in and just doing some nude lips to do to work with this red and pink eye. Um, I'm using the Balani Brown Lip Liner, which has like a warm brown to it. I'm also using a Chanel sample from the mascara. And I'm using the Aloe Kiss Glue because I've been doing a lash serum at night. And so I'm using less of the Duo. I love the duo, it dries clear, it's probably the best, but I'm using the Aloe Clear White because um, I'm doing a lot of stuff with organic airbrush makeup. Uh, today I'm using Dynair, but just it's just, you gotta be careful what products you mix to make them work. So I'm going in and just doing a nude lip. I'm using the Milani Pink at Gloss and just doing this kind of cool little pinup vibe. Hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye guys.